reliability specialists often describe the lifetime of a population of products using a graphical representation called the bathtub curve. The bathtub curve consists of three periods which we discuss in this article. This article will be presented in two parts, the bathtub curve and reliability failure analysis and reporting. One of the earliest models of failure rate, the bathtub curve, is so named because of its shape. The failure rate versus time can be divided into three regions. The first region is characterized by a decreasing failure rate with time and is conventionally referred to as the infant mortality phase or the early life region of the product, component, or system during their early period of use. Experience shows that the length 0 to T1 of this region is about 10,000 hours, approximately one year, for most electronic components. The failures in this region are usually attributed to defects in the manufacturing processes, assemblies, and shipping of the product. The second region of the bathtub curve is the constant failure rate region, which is characterized by the inherent failure rate of the product's composite components. In this region, the failures occur randomly over time. The third region is referred to as the wearout region. It is characterized by an increasing failure rate over time. Most electronic components do not exhibit such a region, with the exception of electromechanical devices, such as relays. On the other hand, most, if not all, mechanical components that are subjected to rotating and alternating motions wear out with time. This is exemplified by the behavior of cutting tools, fatigue loading on structures, and wear out due to friction between mating surfaces. The second region in the general failure rate model bathtub curve shows a constant failure rate. Let lambda be the constant failure rate. Thus T equals lambda. The reliability function and the probability density function are given R T equals E caret minus lambda T. And F T equals T R T equals lambda E caret minus lambda T. This is the standard exponential failure time distribution, and the graphs of equations are obtained from actual failure data. The first and third regions, the decreasing and increasing failure rate regions of the general failure rate models, can be described by time dependent failure rate functions. The Weibull failure rate is the most widely used failure rate model that describes these regions. It is expressed as t equals gamma, theta t caret gamma minus 1. When gamma equals 1 the Weibull hazard rate function becomes constant. When gamma equals 2, the resultant hazard function is linear with time and its probability density function becomes the Rayleigh distribution. The reliability function and the probability density function of the Weibull distribution are expressed respectively as R T equals E caret minus T gamma theta and F T equals gamma theta T caret gamma minus 1 E caret minus T gamma theta. The Weibull failure model to describe decreasing and increasing failure rates. Of course, the constant failure rate is also included. Figure 1 shows the probability density functions for the Weibull model with different shape and scale parameters. Figure 2 shows the hazard rate functions for the Weibull model with different shape and scale parameters. And next, how do we analyze reliability and report it? In order to be effective, a comprehensive reliability program must be based on data that is collected, verified, and or validated, analyzed, and used as the basis of decision-making for design improvements and corrective action. At a minimum, reliability data must be thoroughly evaluated at key milestones, such as the design phase and program reviews. In the context of failure analysis and reporting, reliability data is most commonly evaluated in a closed-loop failure reporting and corrective action system. A closed-loop failure reporting and corrective action system provides the means to ensure that failures are not only documented and tracked over time, but also analyzed to a sufficient depth to determine whether corrective action is required. And if so, what corrective action is necessary is determined by appropriate design engineers or reliability review board. 
Finally, I just want to say that if you're listening to this video, we thank you so much. Every like, every follow, every listen, every download, it means to us. Contact us at https colon slash slash shioconsulting.org slash contact slash. It's a little form, tell us a little bit about you and how to connect. We really look forward to your participation. We, hopefully, will see you again. Thanks so much.